Okay, so one of our goals is to be able to make position time graphs from velocity time graphs. So here is basically a practice problem. So you can see if you're going to be successful on the next assessment. So here I've given you some information. We've got an object that has an initial position of negative 10 meters. And this graph right here basically describes its motion. So it's got a velocity time graph. Your goal, whether or not you choose to accept it, it's going to be your goal. You're going to make a beautiful position time graph. All right? So, uh, pause the video, make the, make the position time graph, not velocity time graph, that's already made. So make a position time graph, and I will then reveal what's behind door number one, and you'll see if you are ready to go. So let's check it in five, four, three, two, ta-da! Now it may not be exactly a scale, it's pretty close to scale, but it should look like this. I've marked the key points uh, and times. So let's go through this step by step, just in case you didn't get exactly what I got, so you, we can see where you may have gone wrong. Maybe it's a simple mistake. We'll find out. But the first thing I always do with the velocity time graph, if I need to make a position time graph, is one, you need to know where to start. Right here. This is your initial position. So I went first there. I put a dot down here. That's where I start. If you don't know where you start, you really can't make a position time graph. Or just choose zero as your starting point because you don't really know where it is, so it's kind of an arbitrary starting point. Second thing, go in, highlight these regions here. Remember, the definition of displacement is the area under a velocity time curve. So right here, let's change my thickness so it's a bit prettier, but right here we've got 4 times 6, so this region right here has a displacement of 24 meters. So I take my negative 10, I add 24, I end up at 14. So at 6 seconds, I basically put a dot here at 14. I know it's constant velocity, so I draw one single line and I'm done. Then I can go down here, and again, shading in the region between the line and 0. And I have negative 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4. So now our displacement is 32 meters. Except negative. Keep the negative, Szymanski. Since we're below the line and we have a negative velocity, this is a negative displacement. So I'm going to go to 14, and I'm going to lose 32 meters. So that means I'm going to end up at a position of negative 18 at this 10-second mark. So I put a dot there. Again, constant negative velocity, constant negative slope, and I get my answer. So hopefully that helps you get a better understanding of how to make a beautiful position time graph from a velocity time graph. Until next time, folks, enjoy science.